It's a Mad How morning yeah. <laughs> with Jeff Brosda and my buddy Jim Passage. We're the steelheader in trouble this morning, right, Jeff? I hope so. <laughs> now, you, Jeff, I think Jim said you guys have been fishing together for a dozen years. Probably something like that. That's pretty great. Well, it's a beautiful fall morning here in the Madhouse. Beautiful morning. The Haven't found a fish up, yet, but we're about to. Starting to warm up. We're about to find one. Can't wait. Okay, we beached the boat. Jeff Brazda, our guide, got uh, Jim all rigged up with his spay rod. There you go, Jimmy, right there. Now we're gonna watch uh, Jim Passage work his, work his magic with the spay rod. Jeff just pointed out that there's two steelhead right there in front of us, right on the edge of this hole. Well, look, there's another one moving in. Now he spotted another one. Oh man, there's fish in this hole. Let it swing all the way down here, Jimmy. There's two steelhead sitting right here. At the top end of the hole, it was full of kings. Now you give it a man. Huh? Only every now and then give it the no man routine. He's on that little bug again. Ooh, that's fun. See that? Yep, he's on that little bug again. We're changing you up, Jimmy. Nice fish. My hero. <laughs> that is so great. <laughs> what fun. I don't know if I what I do if I got one of those keeners he's talking about. <laughs> fish like that's awful fun. Yeah, no, that took that. He hit it. Uh oh, I don't want to tell any secrets. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great net. Yeah, look at that thing. Yeah? Floats. Floats with a fish in it. That's just perfect. Very pretty fish. Ready? Bye bye. Thanks for playing. Here we go. Aha. Uh -huh. That is great stuff. What fun. Thanks, Jeff. Just had to get to the water that we stay invisible in. Way to go, Jim. Oh. Feel like a good one? No. <laughs> I should be able to just drop the hook right here and we'll be okay. Shallow water. There. Got a glimpse of him. I thought you got a rock there for a minute. I can feel a head shake. Well, oh, I thought he'd turn and run down the river.
Let's go. Let's sit when they hook fish to do it. The bottom, the left and the right, which is not out. Uh, that's an old habit I've got, but it's not working. It's a pretty fast water. There he is. Your town Ford is kicking off the season with the best deals of the year. It's the Built for Tough Truck Event. Great power and amazing fuel economy means no compromises. And that's what you get in a truck built for tough. Like the Ford F-150 with a powerful and efficient EcoBoost engine. The power you want and the economy you need. Or Ford Super Duty with its amazing 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. If you're looking for power, payload, towing, economy, your town Ford's got the truck for you. Head to your town Ford in East Wenatchee. The goal of Battery Systems is to provide the best products combined with the most efficient service at competitive prices. I've found their people live up to this, so don't buy anything without talking to them. You should make their batteries and accessories your choice to power your vehicles and boats. This is Dave Graybill, and I choose Battery Systems to keep me running on shore and on the water. To find a Battery Systems product expert in a location near you, log on to batterysystems.net. When you're fishing in Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, even Rufus Woods, the place to stay is at Cooley Playland in Electric City. They have camping and RV hookups right on the water. There's a launch with fuel and one of the best tackle shops in the area. You can get your state and tribal fishing licenses right there. Cooley Playland has been the friendly place to stay for fishermen for decades, and if you haven't camped there yet, you'll learn why. Call for reservations at 509-633-2657. Be sure to visit their website at cooleyplayland.com. The Evan Root E-Tech. It's a dream come true. For E-Tech engine sales and service and repair of all boats and motors, call Lyle's Boats and Motors in Kashmir, 663-5191. Well, Jeff, you know, this is early season. We're about mid-October uh, on the Manhattan River, and we're talking low and clear conditions. So what do you recommend to uh, anglers when they're facing this kind of water? Um, depends on what kind of angler you are. Okay. Yeah, if you're a swing angler, you can swing a scandy line with, with dry tips or real light tips. And small flies work really good. It keeps you away from your fish. They actually bite it pretty good. Uh -huh. um, but, it, you know, in all swing fishing, you got to be prepared to drop your loop. Because they're not super aggressive biters. They're kind of light. Okay. And especially on the dry, they'll come up and just nose it nice and easy. Uh, as far as gear fishermen, you know, the bobber and jig thing is working pretty good. Center pin guys do really good. Um, fly fishing, nymphing, we're running pretty long and light, you know, lightweight and long leaders and deeper holes, staying out of the sun, fishing a lot of shadow. And anywhere you can't see bottom easy, yeah. there's pretty much going to be efficient. Okay. And egg patterns are king. Uh, a lot of stone fly patterns and goofy stuff, you know, like a size 10 copper john. Oh, 
we'll okay. catch, we'll catch steelhead here. Uh huh. You know, it's just out of the ordinary, especially on a weekend. You know, it gets a little crowded. You might want to do some out of the ordinary type thing. Yeah. And it's not that you'll catch fish that they caught already. It's that you're going to catch fish that have seen what they're throwing and not not biting it. You're catching different fish. There's enough right. fish in here to catch to catch fish on any day you know it's going to be tough during the sun there's no doubt about that yeah always is but now we got clouds and the sun's behind the hill that's the golden time pretty yeah. much fishing the edges of the day you know early morning is generally good and yeah. later in the evening well something that you showed me today too is to don't give up in a hole after one drift try a different line yeah yeah exactly you know just Think about it as a like a football field grid or lanes on a freeway. Yeah. You know, take a different lane all the time. Sometimes it's the inside slow lane, sometimes it's the outside fast lane. And you know, if you're gonna be there a while, you don't have to change it up by much. You know, a few feet here and there. Right. You know, you change your depth, all this helps out. I always figure that the best thing to do is either go deeper and heavier before you leave or change your bug, you know, if you have to, but, you know, steelhead are, you pick out something that you want to use, that you want to catch them on, and you stick with it, and you will catch the fish. That's all there is to it. They're biters. They really are, you know, and if you go half a day or whatever without a fish, then you might change up your method, but just sticking to what you know and sticking to what you like, you will always catch steelhead, especially summer runs, because of the water temp. Be persistent. Oh, yeah. That's what you showed us today, too. Oh, yeah. You know there's fish in the hole. Oh, yeah. It's just a matter of finding where they're where they're sitting. Look at all these Chinook right here. Oh, yeah. Jim, take a look at those laying in the hole there. See, these are the fish traps that they use to catch the smoke and do their tagging and, and research work that goes all the way out to the ocean. They, they're, the tags are red from here the buoys outside in the open ocean and they know where these fish are traveling to. That's the facility that they use to capture those fish and do all that tagging. It's kind of been revolutionary for the Upper Columbia recovery of wild steelhead. Or wild salmon for that matter. The pit tag. Pit tags, yeah. See they use that little one when it's low, you know, they don't want to be digging down in these salmon reds with this, you know, the spinning you know, screw trap. Right. They're usually out at night. They put them out at night, pick them up in the morning. Looks pretty good. Hi! You are not gonna believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get a camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are going to Yeah, they're going to be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Hi, I'm Dave Grayville, the fish and magician, and I'm sitting in front of the Lake Pateras Inn. Lake Pateras Inn is one of the most convenient places you can stay. If you like to fish for salmon or steelhead on the Upper Columbia River, you can moor your boat at the dock, or there are two ramps within yards. They have outdoor power so you can charge your electric motor. Rooms are clean and comfortable and very affordable. Everything you need is right here at the Lake Pateras Inn. We live in an area that's just made for boating fun, and to enjoy it, you need to stop by Bob File Boats and Motors in East Wenatchee. They have a hundred new boats in stock, and they have the best used boat inventory in Eastern Washington. From 28-foot cruisers to 6-foot dinghies, they have the boat to fit your needs. They welcome trade-ins, too. See what they have to offer by visiting their website at bobfileboats.com. Bob File Boats and Motors, we're dealing. Bob File's gonna make you smile. Just like Jeff said, this is kind of the time we should start catching some fish. More light. I think this is a little bigger than the ones we've been catching before, huh, Jeff? Yeah. A little bit bigger. Ooh. Oh boy.
it was <laughs> interesting as soon as we hooked it Jeff knew because there were just these deep lunging head shakes <laughs> Not like that one I shook off a little further upstream. No, not quite the same. <laughs> wow. You want to step real, 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 real. Keep coming, keep coming. Put some weight on it. Keep it. It's not that big of a fish. <laughs> that was great, Jeff. That house steelhead. Thank you very much. Look at that little mark on its tail right there. Yeah, something took a bite yeah. out of that a long time ago. That's a fish. Oh, boy. That wore me out. Gaboon Productions LLC is a full-service video production company right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Gaboon is a term coined by my grandfather, commercial fishing in Alaska. It's when a bunch of fish hit your net all at the same time. We capture life as you see it. From filming those special moments to catching something big, Gaboon Productions LLC can record it, edit it, and save it for you forever. We do weddings, theater productions, concerts, reunions, commercials, and more. Go to GaboonProductions.com on the web, check us out on Facebook, and on YouTube. Gaboon Productions LLC, the little video company capturing your big moments. No one is happy about having to repair a vehicle after an accident. However, I was very happy when I chose First Choice Collision Center when I needed this service. I can't say enough about how they treated me. Fast and friendly just doesn't say enough. They have amazing technology to make a damaged vehicle look like new. At First Choice Collision Center, you can expect modern service with old-fashioned values. That was my experience, and I'm sure it will be yours, too. When the weather starts to cool, it's the signal for hot fishing for steelhead. If you're not ready for this exciting season, better get to Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee. They have everything a steelheader needs, from rods and reels to jigs and bait. There is no better selection of all this gear than what you'll find on the shelves at Hooked on Toys. Get geared up. Get to Hooked on Toys, 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue, and be sure to visit them online at hookedontoys.com. Right through the middle of those big boulders. Nice job. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> this is a nice fish. Woohoo! Atta boy, Jimmy. Good big bird.
15 hour. Nice. Oh. Nice wild fish. Wow. Well, Jeff, just another day on the river, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a beauty. Look at that. Well, Jeff Brosda, hey, if somebody wanted to get in touch with you, how would they do that? Website, brosdasflyfishing.com. Brosdasflyfishing.com. Terrific. Bye-bye. There you go.